we think that we are living now in the biggest transformation that uh, humankind has experienced since the Industrial Revolution, which is the transition from the analog world to the digital world. So we live now in a world in which these two realities uh, are together, but in the future there is only, will be only one, which is that we call today the digital economy, digital life, digital space. So we think that we, this represents a big, big opportunity for some countries, for developing countries. We work in Latin America, we know very well Latin America, and we are totally aware of the huge opportunity that for regions like Latin America, the digital challenge represents. Because Latin America has the two more important assets for this. One is a very good connectivity, because in the future, digital infrastructure will be the most important infrastructure, much more than the traditional physical infrastructure. And Latin America and other developing regions have that is the most important asset for the digital revolution, young, talented people, able and willing to play the role in the digital life, digital economy, digital space. So we think that governments and policy, policy makers have a huge responsibility to promote the right policies to implement and develop digital infrastructure, digital content, and in general, the development of the digital economy in the countries. Because this is probably a unique opportunity in the last 200 years for these countries. Because I think that we, probably now all the countries, all the regions are in a very similar position to compete in the digital space. So that means that for Latin America and other regions of the world, they are in the best conditions that they have ever been in the last 200 years to compensate the level of development and to be part of the most advanced world in the future. People are, by nature, in the center of the digital challenge. And let me be frank, especially young people. Young people, young, skilled, and talented people will be the most important raw material in the future. And let me compare two regions of the world, Europe and Latin America. And how important is for policymakers? If you want to, let me be frank, if you want to win elections in Europe, the most important thing to discuss is who is going to pay the pension. Nobody is going to win an election promoting or promising something about the digital space. But this is not the case in Latin America. Latin America is full of young people willing to be part of the digital economy, that they know very well the possibilities, not only for the countries, but for the individuals that the digital economy represents, and they want to be part of it. And we think that in, in Latin America, we have a new generation of people that are in the best conditions to be uh, the agents of the digital development in their countries. For that, there is two things needed. One, to have a good infrastructure, and this is our responsibility as cell cooperators. And the second thing is the right public policies to be implemented. And mainly one of these that by far is the most important, which is education. So I think that 
for the future and for the people and for young people a good education and good educational system will be the critical success factor in the future. We're gonna reason the stay.